When I say the word veganism, many people still think that it involves tons of hours cooking, most likely elaborate meals that require tons of expensive, hard to find ingredients. I make pretty simple food and I've been vegan for eight years now. This is what I make in a typical week working 40 hours at my day job. Here I was preparing a veggie burger for my lunch. Hey, good morning. So I am kind of running late. It's 8.40. I need to leave at 9.20, so I'm just making a veggie burger and I'm going to make my breakfast and see what other types of things I can have for lunch today. I absolutely love this ciabatta stuff. It's from Char, I believe, or Char. I'll write it up here. And yeah, I'm just preparing that. That's going to be the bun for the veggie burger. And I also started making some muesli here. I got my strawberries and I was making some mango in there, frozen mango I put in there as well. And then the muesli, almond milk, super simple, but really delicious. Okay, at this point I realized that I forgot and needed some sort of greenery, so I went out to the garden and got some lettuce. We were completely out, so that worked very well for the sandwich, and voila. These are really incredible cookies, and I just use them for some snack because I definitely get pretty hungry pretty easily, and it's just good to have, you know, more than the main lunch or whatever that you're having. Then I was packing up everything here in my bag and I was all set to go. Then I ate outside and was just enjoying some sunshine and having my food. This was also a little fit check because I was very proud of my kilt skirt that I've been wearing a lot recently. And this was my second 15 minute break. Okay, so Saturday I got out the food I was going to do. I decided on noodles with tahini, pretty simple. I had some leftover noodles. The first thing I did was make the tahini. This is definitely a bit of a process sometimes but you basically are just stirring and adding water with a paste until it makes a consistency that you like that isn't too thick. So I've added it to the noodles here and then I got some baby spinach and just added that in too so I got some greens and I added a lot of gamashio or gamasio and that was it. I also decided to add in some more baby kale, but saute it. So I just sauteed it with water, super quick, super easy. And then I also started making more of my coffee alternative for the day and decided to put it in a tumbler this morning. So the kale was ready here and I just added it to my meal and I was all set. I added a Luna bar and this little vegan chocolate I had. I also decided to add some strawberries to eat on the way there. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much set. The only thing else that I need to do now is get some breakfast stuff happening. I've been having muesli with almond milk um, for the past like few days so I think I'm just gonna do some bread and some jelly on top and just keep it simple like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So this was another day of using the ciabatta rolls. They're very good, they're gluten-free, and a lot of the times you can't really get many breads that are vegan and gluten-free because sometimes a lot of gluten-free breads have eggs in them, so you have to watch out for that. Okay, and then this was me 
Getting ready for the day, I put on this rose hip oil and I brush my hair and just get prepared for the day so I feel good when I'm at work. This was me at work and I had a really great meal that day. Okay, so we're into day three of my work week now and it's also Sunday, which means we're going to be extra quiet. I'm really, really hungry this morning because I actually didn't have dinner last night. So I think I'm going to definitely make some oatmeal and then I'm going to make something for lunch as well. So then for this day, I decided to change it up from muesli and I decided to make some oatmeal. So this is just basically it's a little bit of water and oats. And then I also decided to make some Indian dal and quinoa for lunch. I just had those packets in the cabinet. So I just decided to use those. <laughs> I really swear by the coffee alternative because I rarely have coffee anymore. Just something that I can have day in and day out and not get terrible headaches from. This is easily one of my favorite creamers. I also really like adding in some banana and cinnamon and then I also added in some blueberries here like you can see and it's really not complicated it's just dropping cinnamon or whatnot into the oatmeal like it's not a complex recipe at all and then I added some spinach for my lunch and that's a really easy way to get in greens just add raw greens into whatever meal you're having I took a little break to take a shower real quick and then got dressed. I made some more faux coffee and then I was on my way to work. Then I got to work and I was just getting things from the car here. Something I'm really looking forward to is getting a new bag and specifically something for my food since I'm not eating out at all for when I go to work. And that's gonna be really, really nice when I get a different bag. Cause I'm basically just putting it in this tote here and uh, not, not always the best, but anyways, I'm just about at work and I'll talk to you later. Okay, so I just got into work and I'm the only one here right now. I can probably talk a little bit. Yeah, I just been wanting to show my, what I eat in a week, especially when I'm trying not to spend any money. If you've seen my last video, you know that I am on this journey to try to get rid of as much debt as I can right now. And yeah, I've just been eating really simply. I think a lot of times people think that eating vegan means that you're doing all these elaborate recipes. And it's just definitely not the case. It's really just like putting stuff together, even just stuff in your fridge. It's only as complicated as you make it. So I got some coffee together and then I decided to make a burger again because that's pretty simple. I ended up adding avocado in this and that was a rare slip up that I made. It ended up not working out so well with adding avocado but regardless. I made some muesli again because it was super simple to make and got it onto the bun there. And that's, yeah, when I added the avocado it like just messed it up but it's fine.
I also decided to add some fruit because it was in the refrigerator and it was simple enough. And I had a vegan cheese stick as well. I really like the yogurt that I used there. Okay, so this was the final day. I skipped Tuesday because it was just too hectic to film. And so this is Wednesday, this is my first day off. I was really enjoying the sun and it was so, so nice out and just refreshing for me after five days of work. And yeah, I had my faux coffee and just chilled out. Then for lunch, I decided to make this veggie vegan pizza. And that was super simple. And I decided to eat it out in the sun have a little faux Mediterranean moment out there with me in the sunshine. <laughs> yeah. It is my last day of recording what I eat as a vegan, gluten-free person. Today, it's my day off because I didn't record yesterday, but I had today as the fifth day, Wednesday. It's the day that I'm going to record things. So yeah, now I'm just basically working on doing a lot of things here. I need to edit and I have a bunch of other things on this pretty paper I got because I got these Bagu bags recently and this is what it came on. So yes, I have that. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just gonna work here for a little bit and I have some emails that I need to write, so yeah. So yeah, then I spent the rest of the day just working on emails and then I started editing this YouTube video as well. So thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful or at least insightful or inspiring for your own meal prepping or preparing your food at home instead of takeout, definitely let me know in the comments. And if you like this type of content, please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.